This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 713 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. Here, alone, physically, in the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. One solo. What's Juan that? Solo. Juan one solo. One solo. One Han. I'm Han Solo oh, in the studio. No, no, you're one, one solo because it's Cinco de Mayo. One solo. Because, oh. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Anyways, uh-huh. we got a crew with us. First of all, from Beacon, New York, the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. Hello, everyone. This is a Beacon Bloody <sighs> Mary. And by the Wow, fact, you're already halfway through. Yeah, I know. Um, it's a Bloody Mary, and I'm a, and I'm in Beacon, so it's a Beacon Bloody Mary. <laughs> also with us back he is not playing games tonight he is from always plays games on the twitch he is the wrist hi sword hi hi mad mike hi Riz. And hi our <laughs> guest nice to see you. do you make sure well, you, you don't have copyright infringing uh video in the in your background tonight i uh, know this is actually <laughs> from oh wait it no, actually that's turned your off. playstation so we're yeah. good You're yeah good. it's my playstation it's fine <laughs> I forget what, what were you playing? You're playing like WWE stuff one night, weren't you? And I was like, I, at one point, that. I was playing. Uh, yeah, it was the uh, it was the pay per view. I think mm-hmm. I was playing the pay per view that one time, and then the other time when we were just hanging out and doing having like just a just a nice little hangout, I was um, playing the Iron Chef marathon on on Twitch on my background. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like the original <laughs> Japanese Iron Chef. Amazing. Amazing. Chris, Chris, was it you I had the conversation with where I said that Iron Chef needs to combine with Lucha Underground? You did not, but you? yes. No, but that needs to happen. It might even be in Chachi then. Because I remember <clears throat> I remember it was someone from the Mayhem crew tweeting about Iron Chef. And I'm like, I no, that was wanted... Chachi. Okay. Because I was like, I've always wanted Iron Chef to combine with Lucha Underground. Wait, Chachi, are you wearing a Breeze Horse shirt? Uh, Riz, I mean, are, are you wearing a Breeze Horse shirt? I am wearing a Breeze Horse sh- shirt. Because I saw the number, and I'm like, why are you wearing a radio station? And then I'm like, oh, no, that's a Breeze Horse, isn't it? Breeze Horse. Oh, no. Fantastic. <laughs> um, also with uh, somebody who's no stranger to the merchandise, uh, the Neon Ninja Facade has joined us on the show. Yo, 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 yo. Go oh. Ninja, go. What's up, guys? Your video Wait. popped out for a second. Oh, oh there he is. There he is. Oh. He's back he, with us. Sorg, Good. he's a ninja. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You're not ninja. going to see his video coming. That's ninja the point. Uh, the Neon Ninja. ninja. <laughs> uh, you guys will see on gold. We, we, we saw his cat uh, that he, he brought back Yo. from India, uh, as well as uh, a, a little bit of his uh, uh, pops and toy collection. Some great stuff there. So you guys will see that on the Patreon on, uh, uh, on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold Pre-Show. So thank you. And those macho sunglasses too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Ooh, Facade, yeah. Thank the you. For- bomber madness. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like what he's doing over there. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Facade, thank you for joining us. I hope we're. I hope. I hope we're keeping keeping the boredom at bay uh, by hey, hey, hanging hey. out tonight. <laughs> Anytime. Any. Yeah. Absolutely. Anytime. I don't have to wear this face mask. I mean, I used to wear the ma- face mask at like. You know, I thought it was cool, but now, like, I have to wear it. And so now I like, don't want to wear it anymore. I'm going into Walmart, and I'm wearing my bandana. And I'm like, man, I feel like I feel like this is just, like, I feel like a grandma or a grandpa or something like that. So I'm like, uh, I think it's, I'm, 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 I think I'm going to shed the bandana, guys. Next time you see me in a ring, I might not be a bandana guy. Like, it's, it's not cool anymore. Two things. We're yeah. bandanas to the ring and empty arena matches. We are not going to give a shit about after all this. Yeah, yeah. So you got to just, like. And 95 or die, bro. 
<laughs> uh thank you of course we're gonna be catching up with you facade and, and catching up with uh the the bits of wrestling news and just having fun tonight and that is what this show is for it's not so much informative as hopefully entertaining for you and helping you uh, uh waste an hour or so of your week uh but anyways go check out everything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com you can drop us a line at that email address Good times. Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com four one two two zero six WMS zero, um, where you can leave a message. You've already put it in your in your in your uh, phone under a, your ex girlfriend's name, or, or send your, or send or your ex boyfriend's name, or ex boyfriend's, Ooh, or send sure. Dick Togo picks two as we discussed oh, last week. Okay. <laughs> uh, and you can also follow us the Wrestling Mayhem Show on the Facebook page and the group. A lot of great discussion and, and great. Great stuff shared uh, throughout the week. Again, entertaining everybody in the wrestling world, uh, hanging out there. And, of course, you can join us here live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We are live on Facebook Live. Uh, we are live on the Mayhem Show Twitter. We are on the Sorgatron Media Twitch page and uh, looking at it some other platforms as well. But, of course, we're keeping an eye out on the other chats. But, of course, uh, a lot of side <laughs> is moving around over there. He is not creep. Oh. He, you're not creeping very well. <laughs> Sometimes... Sometimes I think I'm on a Zoom call and people aren't looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because where we can hear you. <laughs> oh. But anyways. Okay. Uh, <laughs> harder. <laughs> yes. Um, but anyways, please go check out all those. Uh, however you like to, to follow the show. And of course, we're over on the YouTube page as well. If you'd like to watch the show that time, please subscribe to the show. Please comment, share the show. If you're on a live stream right now, hit that heart button, hit that like button, hit that share button to let people know it is going down right now or share the podcast whenever you are listening it. Please. Thank you for all the hearts there in the chat room. Uh, That's thank me. You. <laughs> oh, that's all you. <laughs> I, I was it like, doesn't matter oh, who right. does I can it. actually, I, mean, I can actually do these things. Yeah. Although I, yeah. I don't have fucking care emojis yet. Nope. <laughs> You're right. It still looks like a. It's. It, I, I only saw the tiny one at first, and I just thought it was a bloody smiley face. And I'm like, that's a strange choice. Face yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. it gets. A, you just kind of fill in the blanks. Um. Also, please check out everything at um uh, uh all those places, and check out our stream part of the 405 mediacom I stream us every midnight uh, Eastern time as well. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, and I, I, I actually have some questions for the Patreons I, I want to put out there. Well, one, and, and I'll probably, I'll probably send an email out uh, when I, uh, when I do, uh, of course you have some of you, hopefully you guys have seen, we've been playing with the Patreon lenses, especially when we're editing on to late Tuesday nights, but also would you be interested in ad free, uh, uh, RSS feed or RSS feed that includes the audio of the after darks and pre shows as well. Uh, let us know on the Patreons in the chat room if you're a Patreon supporter, if that is something you guys would be interested to, and we can look into that as well. Um, I know a lot of other Patreons do it. We have not, but uh, we, we we try to do some other things. But uh, but that's that's one of the ideas being floated around hey, to Ford? give you guys a little bit more. Yes, Riz. Uh, catch with me off air. Okay. I have an idea. You have an idea. Riz already has an idea for Patreon. There you go. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for supporting us, especially right now. Our friends at the Fantasy Show level, Bo Diggity! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Bobby of J Town, <coughs> Team Hammerfist. At the Poppy Club level, Bradley, um, Dave Podner. Send Bradley Butts. Send Bradley Butts. Hashtag send Bradley Butts. Uh, Daniel Towery and Tina Keys. Uh, at the Pete's Club level, our friends Doc Remedy and Cal Turner. At the manager. Doc! <laughs> <laughs> and at the manager level, OccupyProWrestling.com and Farnsworth Investments. And Mad Mike, did you finally cancel that? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, May. it's May, so yeah. It's May. May, you are no longer. You have lost your power of manager -ness. I mean, I'm I'm gonna say I didn't really have much power to begin with. <laughs> don't downplay yourself like, like that. Please no, don't, I mean, please, have, please don't downplay. The please don't downplay the power of our Patreon supporters there supporting I, I us. Get, I couldn't get the one match investments. I wanted on Mayhem Mania because Matt Carlin. Oh, is oh, Matt Carlin is a tyrant. Ma Controversy like, abound in Mayhem Mania too. It's been a month. Have, it's I don't been think a I've month. had one match on Mayhem Mania. Ever. <laughs> well, I mean, I made a Riz, good match. Riz, 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 that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> I made a We're good talking match about a me problem here. 
<laughs> wow. Well, if you guys want to get in on be a part of the controversy one way or another, patreon.com slash wrestling mam show, especially with everything going on. We really appreciate you guys supporting us um through the Patreon and and please continue to support our 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 our, our friends out there in the indie wrestling and pro wrestling as well. Um a lot of that stuff. And we'll talk about that a little bit later in the show too. So there's actually something kind of interesting happening in the wrestling world. While not a lot of people are watching Monday Night Raw as it reported its lowest non holiday numbers ever, apparently. Um we have money in the bank this weekend. A mm-hmm. quote. Yep. I'm going to put air quotes around pro wrestling event um, at this point. But um, I. Whew. So money it's in the really bank. It's an indie film at this point. What's that? It's an indie film. It's an indie film. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just pulling those WWE films, people, and let's just go with it. Um, we know Call that Freddie Prince. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. Right, um, Freddie. By the way, Freddie Prince podcast uh, with uh, the New Day was fantastic. Like, yes, you know, yeah. you didn't realize all he was doing in the background. I I can't wait to listen to the latest one where they surprise Xavier Woods with sudden Topanga. <gasps> no, no. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a video I retweeted yesterday. Xavier Woods goes from badass tag team champion member of the New Day to Max from a Goofy movie and like. Point two seconds flat. It's yeah. great. Um, a, sorry, this that's a, a real weird transition, but everyone who knows knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, real, yeah. Real quick from the chat, <laughs> Tina's saying, "Uh huh, I got two on the super card this year. Step up your game, boys." You know, you Tina, know what? You know what, Tina? Just, just, just Tina's banned from really? Mania next year. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not nice. I don't Man. think you can call, make that call, but uh, I, I just did. It's just a, that's a, it's, that's Tina's going to be on the thing. wheel thing that Matt that Matt had. Wait, wait, you you sending Tina to space jail? Yes. No, oh no, my no. god! Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> can you send another <laughs> participant to did space I, jail? All right, hey, we it, sent uh, we sent a match to the to space jail. Yep, yeah, that's yes. it. Tina is sent to space jail. Don't worry, Tina. Don't worry, Tina. No, uh, that it how, never that's how we out. determine who gets to be in Mayhem Mania. We all go in space jail. <laughs> whoever breaks out gets to make a move. <laughs> uh, we'll, we will submit that to the rules committee, which is that's an amazing. It's like the elimination chamber, but not really. So we have two money in the bank matches <laughs> of sorts. <laughs> um, we don't actually sort. We have one money in the bank match with two briefcakes. Briefcakes? Briefcakes? Briefcakes. 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 Yeah. This, this match just Beefcakes. got better. There you go. Briefcakes. Briefcakes. Two Brutus Barbie briefcakes. Uh, is, bri- is briefcake the um, the uh, <coughs> non-denominational variant of shortcake? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Wait, what denomination is shortcake? I don't know. No. It's, it's, oh, I heard Otis. Otis says, cheap day. Cheap day. <laughs> yep. Okay. There we go. Um, well, we got, okay, on one side, again, both matches are happening at the same time. Brian, and, uh, Alistair Black, Ray Mysterio, King Corbin. Was there, there's a blank here. Is they, they haven't filled one in. Oh, no. They, AJ Styles. AJ Styles. AJ Styles. They haven't filled it in on this yet. Uh, oh, it, it says versus space versus. They just, they like deleted it. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Otis is in there and AJ Styles. On the women's oh, side, yes. Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Asuka, Dana Brooke, Lacey Evans, Carmella. Both matches happening at the same time. Both matches starting at the bottom of Titan Towers and climbing to the top of Titan Towers, where obviously at this point somebody is going to be throwing Ray Mysterio off of the roof. Of Titan no, I, I think Ray Mysterio is going to be throwing someone off the roof. I, I think he's just going to no. jump off the roof of Titan Towers, and then the DeLorean's going to rise with him standing on it. Yeah, Jeff Hardy's oh, yeah. not in this, right? No, 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 he isn't. No, no, no. 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 That's that. That should have that. That's where they missed the boat, right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would. I like before. Even before I came on here today, I was like, somebody's gonna go off that, but I didn't say Ray. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's gonna be the big show. I said Otis. <laughs> <laughs> big show's here, and he gets thrown off, <laughs> and he's just, yeah, going, just randomly Not big again. show. He's just turning. And then on the FA shows up on the big show show season two. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Why? Why are you in tractions, Father? I just fell off the like, building again. What do you mean again? Like the, the intro to season two is just him crashing through the roof of the house mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. right under Titan Tower. 
It's uh, back and then yo, there's a weird laugh track for some despite reason. Despite that they've completely been established as being in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because now they had to move Titan Tower to Tampa, Florida, just to hold the event. Oh, yes. that's, that's where the snow stay. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that's yeah. what I was. I was wondering that too. I'm like, isn't that in Connecticut? And like, is this already taped? What is the weather permitting? Like, what the hell? <laughs> no one knows what's going on. No, no, no. But by the way, um. So, King Corbin is going to accidentally grab the wrong briefcase, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to he's he's challenge Bailey. Oh, that'll be fantastic! Yes, yes. <laughs> and Oscar is going to know instinctively which briefcase is the right one, but wait for Brock Lesnar to return and beat Drew McIntyre again. <laughs> oh, so many options. Oh. <laughs> so, so many options. So. so- this is all happening at the same time. They're fighting, and they're even alluding to they could even they could end up in the boardroom. They could end up in Vince's office. It's like, oh no, they're, they're just. They're gonna I'm glad they gave office. us that sweet ass tour of the Titan Towers, though. Seeing all those cool things you like really didn't see, or you saw like I remember uh, seeing part of the weight room. I'm like, ah, oh, I remember they used to do like vignettes and promos in there, and just seeing that again was pretty yeah. cool too. Yeah, yeah, with like the neon W's in the in the uh, up yeah. on the ceiling, right? Yeah, it, it's yeah. It, it, if only they still had DX spray painted on the side. However, <laughs> <laughs> if if you find the uh, the video where Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae get a tour, like they actually work out in the weight room. Mm-hmm. They do a, they do a whole like like <laughs> like Gargano's doing the bit where he's like, "I hate Austin, I hate Austin." <laughs> <laughs> Like they do the entire thing. Like he does every workout Vince did in that segment, and Candace is pretending she doesn't know what the segment is. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like it's not like Gargano really. has done this multiple times already. Oh yeah, like and and like <laughs> I think at one point he was he's even like hold the towel over me. He's like I hate Austin. Like doing the doing the twisting crunches and everything. Oh my god. Uh, so this is, I mean. This I and I don't know are the rest of the wrestling shows or a rest of the rest of the wrestling matches going to be in the performance center. I I would presume no at this point. Knows. Probably. No one knows. No, I, I assume so, but yeah, who the hell really knows? Yeah, yeah. By so, the way, is there really like a a forest on the rooftop of Titan Towers? Yes. Okay. Like it has been, That's, or they put like trees up there. There's, there's a bunch of trees up there. Like, oh, I just want that to be. I just want that to have been there, and I just want to believe that that sometimes Vince just gets a little pissed off, and rather than like suffocating another human being, he just goes to the roof and just chills with the yeah. trees. And like he's got like a Zen garden there, and he just like combs the sand like a psychopath, all calmly. <laughs> <It's> fucking sand. <laughs> so I hate coarse. It. It's coarse. Fuck. It's course, it, course. <laughs> You're doing the same bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh, many options. Man. Um, I don't even care what the rest of the matches are. Like, it really, it's over. Everywhere. It's really, it's really overshadowed by whatever the hell this Money in the Bank match is going to be. Oh, no one cares. Like, do you really think Seth Rollins is going to beat Drew McIntyre? No, no, no. they're all like placeholder. Do you really think Butter Vest Bray Wyatt's going to win? No, 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 no. no. Um, so, so, oh, wait, sword. Tamina. Tamina's <laughs> Tamina. Tamina's completely going to get it would, this. It would shock me more if Tamina makes it to the match. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, you know that family. Got a history. Oh. 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 Too soon. Uh, I uh, this is a random thought. Yeah. This is a random thought and change of pace. Uh, how about with this newfound um, success of... Uh, Big Show being an actor, what if I don't know if they're doing another Turtles movie, but I'm I'm throwing my my name in the hat for Big Show as Android Crank. Ooh, yeah. see, I I'd rather like see with him... the right perception and the right angles. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wouldn't but, really even need any CGI. But the thing is, who would play actual Crank then? Like, because oh, I'm, I'm thinking more balls. <laughs> I'm thinking more you get. Um, I'm thinking more you have Big Show. And like, um, like, Danny DeVito. no, Big Show and, and someone else be uh, the Rock Soldiers from Dimension X. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, Big Show be General Trag. That works. Yeah. For me. I don't know. That like, I feel like that. I feel like that's the play. Or have Bray Wyatt just be Leatherface for no reason. <laughs> Dude, that's money too. <laughs> 
let's you know what? Instead of talking money in the bank, let's just cast a Ninja Turtles movie with wrestlers. Yeah, okay, let's okay. Cast, let's cast that. We got we can we can cast a uh, Power Rangers movie. I'm in. Just absolutely. Let's go. Yeah. God, this is the mayhem, mayhem wrestling I mean, it, mayhem show. It, it really, it really has had a wrestling connection like the whole time between mm-hmm. Nash and Ninja Turtles two as Super Trevor. Yeah, we had and we she- had Sheamus again in Ninja Turtles two the the CG version, right? And yeah. Stephen Amell. And Stephen Amell. Amell. And Stephen Amell, technically yes. And yeah. uh, I, the comic book had had the wrestler planet and everything. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. So like this is an on like this is there's a lot of connection here. And and plus, then Kevin Eastman did a and, shout out for the Wrestling Mayhem show. And also, John oh, Cena what? plays Baron Draxum on the uh, on the cartoon. There you go. There you go. Facade, you didn't, didn't know, know that? that? We've had that forever. I didn't know that. No, yeah. I didn't know that. I'm, 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 you know, I'm gonna point, we're going to put it in the break just for you again. I think we played that Shame. a few weeks ago. But yeah, Good. no, I ran. we ran into Mike. Mike, when were we up there for the New York Comic Con the first time? Like 2011, maybe? Jesus. Yeah, something like and that. And I just stumbled on... I'm just like, wow, there's a line forming over here. Oh, hey, that's a Ninja Turtles booth. Wait, is that Kevin Eastman? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and I was like eighth eighth person in line to get his autograph. And I'm like, and I'm like, here, can you can you can you give a shout out to my podcast on this uh iPhone three? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, so do you remember when I got Miz to give us a shout out mm-hmm. on my on my flip phone? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Call the headline uh, the hotline. That you had, mm-hmm. you had suitably in there under your ex girlfriend's name. Oh no, no, I, I, I just had it under mayhem. I'm like Miz is like, why are you calling Karen? I, I'm <laughs> 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 oh, hey Sorg, yeah, were you around during the IWC uh, Comic Con days where they had the um, mm-hmm. where was it? Um, it, um, okay promotional consideration paid for by the yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah, my yeah, yeah. that was my first ever ringside uh, uh, filming. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's that two day thing. I was like so lucky and so excited to get to meet Ray Park because he was there. Yeah. Uh, and like that, I had, I had just come out with my first shirt, which was like, like uh, my Arashikage driver shirt, but it had like the Arashikage like uh, logo on it. And uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Ray Park is Darth Maul, uh, Toad from mm-hmm. uh, X-Men mm-hmm. and most notably, uh, uh, Snake Eyes from the G.I. Yeah. Joe's uh, live action series. I love, but he's done all kinds love, of crazy shit. I love, I most notably his Snake Eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's most notably to, Snake Eyes. I think, I, I think it's Darth. Cause, I don't cause think no one's seen, no, not everybody, he's an ninja, no one's ever seen his face. <laughs> Nobody really, yeah, right? No one, like, <laughs> that's the worst part because he's like such a badass and like no one knows it's him. Yeah, yeah, which is basically yeah, Snake Eyes. He was, eyes in he was yeah. also a badass on Heroes. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, and you got to see his face fully, so he wasn't covered in makeup and all that stuff. I remember, I never like, watched that. Oh, I've heard good things because it's JJ uh, Abrams, right? Sir, no, that's lost. Um, yeah, lost. Yeah. the hero heroes was it's was it's real good. Also, because it's about su- like superhuman people yeah. too, right? It was yeah. it was like oh. the proto like like before anybody had the balls to do a superhero show that actually felt like a superhero show. <laughs> Smallville, um, so, yeah. <laughs> like Heroes was the one that gave us like, oh, this is what an X Men TV show could be like, right? So keep that grain of salt. Like, imagine a world where Arrowverse doesn't exist and Gotham and all that stuff, and and take that for what it is in that time period, right? But it's it's a good story. I, yeah. I'm afraid but, to go back uh, and watch it, but it was no, like, sorry, it holds up. It holds up. It holds up. I saw. Good. I saw it. Like it randomly when I was scrubbing through the apps, like, hey, watch Heroes Free on IMDb TV. I'm like, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I have so DVD. How many seasons? It, how many seasons is it? Four. four. And then and they yeah. did it. They, oh, they, I'll watch it. And they did a comeback yeah. miniseries a couple years ago too. And don't watch that. Yeah, that wasn't as good. <laughs> it wasn't nearly as good. Don't watch no. that. That was. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, that's like that's like last few episodes of the animated series. Um, <laughs> X Men anime series roughish, so oh. yeah, yeah. I haven't gotten that far in that yet, but I've been reading about how bad they get. Uh, so I, 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 I was uh finishing up like some of The Walking Dead, mm. and like uh, I'm the season, not the season it's on now, ten season nine. Once Rick leaves, everything takes a complete pivot. Like a lot of things that are foreshadowing, everything's so weird now. 
And so, like, uh, I just ended season nine. I don't know if I want to watch season ten because it's so shit weird. But yeah, I will finish it anyway just because I'm a psycho. That, that, that season got weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't, like, I, haven't, I haven't even gotten up to Negan yet. Oh, um, yeah. I'm like, I so think. So you're, you're, you're good, sort. I'm like, po- yeah. I'm post town. Right yeah. now, uh, whenever I left off and they were in a church and, and, and something like that, I think I think Rick was separated with a kid maybe again. or, or may, I might be confusing things, but... Uh, just, yeah. let it, just let it go like right there because, okay. you know, you got good memories. Yeah, got good <laughs> it's memories. not yeah. bad. Just let them go. Yeah, I mean, I'm you there. like Glenn, right? I'm there you somewhere like, in the like 70s so on the far? comic book and that, that's really all I'm at. Really Sorg, is Glenn your favorite? Is, is Glenn your favorite? <laughs> um, I just don't know. Stop it right there. I don't or really. Whoever your favorite is, it, they're gonna die. It's you just know, I, I just yeah, off, right yeah. off the bat, I just never wanted to get attached to anybody. So, oh, yeah. Also, oh, like yeah. I knew, I was just like, oh, I know this is going to go. Like, no, no, don't get <laughs> yeah. attached to anybody. I'm waiting for that kid. How's that kid not dead yet? Come on. <laughs> a baby in a post-apocalyptic zombie verse. Yeah. Well, the poor kid. Speaking of the speaking of the Steel City Con, we, like, when we had our first booth at the Steel City Con uh, for for the podcast and wrestling oh. stuff, like we were across from him and he misspelled his name. The kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, was that the Steel City Con? Was a promotional considering that was the original Steel City Con? It huh? was. Yeah, because it was a uh, well, it was oh. it was toy Pittsburgh toy and uh, comic fair or something. I went. Yeah. I went once there before when Rude Boy from I from Psychopathic Records yeah. was hanging out and bullshitted with them, and had a good discussion at bowling with one of the employees of Psychopathic Records, and then came back for the wrestling the IWC show. That was like the two day thing there, and then like years later when they moved to the Monroe uh, Convention Center, we did several years of booths. So it was interesting. That's how we met Virgil. <sighs> Anyways, hey, see also Joe score? Dombrowski. Yes. Oh yeah, because I got <laughs> oh, yeah. I got the ver- next to Virgil treatment, and then the next one Joe got the next to Virgil treatment. I was like, "How did you have fun, buddy?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, I think I want to start this project." You in? I'm like, "Fuck yeah, I'm in." <laughs> it's like this is perfect. This is perfect. Anyways, and you can see that that's a perfect segue because you can see all of that the results of two comic cons of next to virgil over on indie wrestling.us indie wrestling network indie with your subscription over there you can see facade in action in that lights out match that we talked about it uh from rwa indie wrestling. Us. You know. that's right indie wrestling.us. is that your is that your promo pose that's the promo pick yeah. indie, indie wrestling.us indie wrestling.us <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know Sorg, you could also call it two Comic Cons next to Virgil, and you might get Oscar consideration. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that really. sounds like that sounds like you an horrible get... indie flick. The best thing uh, I know we're going into the um, into the ad breakers in the into the ad sword. We're in it now. But, uh, we're in it now. Yeah, okay, the banners on top of your face right now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. ah, so, when, really so when you banner. tell people to where to watch, whatever you're going to say next, tell point just just point below you. Just point right there. Right, right, right here. Right there, like, just right there. This? Yes, that's good enough. That's good enough. Bing, 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 bing. Right, right. It's like it's like you're fisting bing. a piano. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, Sork. Anyways, you're gonna say Riz, take it home. Riz, indywrestling.us. Indywrestling.us. <laughs> Not you, a lot of stuff going on there. Check it out. Prospect Pro Wrestling, RWA. And uh, again, over at Indie Wrestling US, we also have a page um, listing a lot of the Patreons and, and Pro Wrestling Tees and however you can support the wrestlers out there. As well, Indie Wrestling.us, Indie Wrestling dot network um just posted uh what do we just post oh prime cuts uh shima zion a to z <laughs> what is happening over there i, <laughs> I hear wind and i see nothing <laughs> so, he's a ninja, he's a ninja. He's a ninja. how okay. many times do we have to explain <clears throat> that's that's true uh indie wrestling that us i i think we got an idea there uh so um Yes, and I was at the IWC show where Shane Douglas was trying to get everybody to chant ICW. <laughs> okay, that time I heard wind and then he showed up. <laughs> it works. It does work. Um, thank you, everybody, for supporting over there as well uh, so we can make sure things are going so we're good and strong when things come back to normal and we get to some wrestling shows again. 
Speaking of facade, what the hell have you been up to? I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I saw you pro- cut a promo for RWA a couple weeks ago where you just ended up talking about N64. Huh. <laughs> RWA was N64? The, the 64 man uh, inter- interactive tournament. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot I did that. Yes. Uh, yeah. The uh, interactive tournament. Um, yeah. I, I, they're like, Hey, why don't you do a, we're going to do a virtual tournament and why don't you, uh, you know, get the fans on your side type of thing. And I'm like, sure. 64 guys. Let's play virtual pro brother. N64, <laughs> no mercy. And I just, I don't know, you know, talking to me, I get carried away. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, but yeah. I think I won the first round, but I don't know. Um, I think you did. Uh, I have to double check that. Oh, no, wait, no, you might be in the bracket coming up right now, actually. I'll oh, double check I thought that. that was a one night only. No, 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 no. It's a stretched oh. out over several weeks situation. So that was just oh, the launch. That okay. was just the launch night of it. Um, so, oh, so what has the facade been up to? <sighs> Luckily, um, you know, I still have um, a little semblance of my shoot job being a personal trainer it is evolved into um i do personal training in like uh, kickboxing classes and now i do uh some virtual kickboxing classes at home nice. workouts with some of the members so i'm doing like body karate and air kung fu and stuff and uh so i'm still keeping uh keeping up with the joneses and able to work out you know what i mean uh you know i'm not able to get in a ring like most people because you can't congregate in mass quantities, but, uh, you know, um, trying to stay sane because there was a lot of awesome stuff, you know, for everyone coming up. Um, particularly I was, I had a, a nice thing in Mexico going into Tampa and then I was going to have a match with, uh, Nick Aldis for the NWA world's heavyweight title. Jeez. So, you know, oh, these things are still going to oh. happen, but you know, it's hard once you got like a wave going to, you know, recoup that, but you know, things happen and well, we'll see what happens to the neon ninja. The neon ninja is in hibernation as we all know. And the, the, the neon ninja we know and love. So uh, I've got some things in the works for whenever I do return to wrestling and uh, I think I'm changing a, a little things. So everybody knows the neon ninja and what he does and what he can do. And, you know, and it's been well established. And anytime I, I try to wrestle anywhere, you know, even if I have any kind of change to my style or anything, it's, uh, you know, there's a certain expectation. So, you know, I'm going to change a little bit of, uh, how I look, how I wrestle. And, uh, you know, that way we can see just, you know, in, in like even the literal term facade, you know, there's a neon ninja, there's a, a another form, another mutation, uh, if you will, that was on the horizon and, uh, got some fleshing out to do with that, but this quarantine will definitely help along with that maybe a, a change of hairstyle maybe a change of um you know uh my attire you know i've been playing a lot of games lately uh create a wrestler on my free time uh as well as watching some you know different wrestling some some older stuff some a lot of japanese stuff but just all over the place so maybe uh maybe uh it's time for a change and you know we can just you know palette swap and you know, if you want to press up C <laughs> to change a different uh, version of facade, get a different facade. You got the Neon Ninja, and then we got, you know, X, Y, and Z. And, you know, and then you got Danny Mo wrestling now, too. She was just starting to, to hit it big and, you know, break out outside of uh, just managing me and getting into her own groove. So, of course, you'll see a different version of uh, facade alongside Danny Mo also. So, so uh, other than like kind of the break of momentum, and this seems to be a common thing with, with a lot of people, like it seems like a lot of what are taking this time to kind of reinvent you know and it's got to be a great time to heal up for for a lot of you guys that have been hitting the road a lot like i know you do um so but but like that i've been kind of speculating that when we hit the ground running you know however you know wrestling comes back whenever wrestling comes back to, to what we know and love like i feel like certain people are going to be healed up enough to like kind of take stuff to a new level or have that like you working on kind of reinventing yourself. So we're going to like the landscape is going to be so different when we, when we kind of, uh, uh, you know, take the brakes off everything again. 
Yeah, I, I totally agree. The people I'm in contact with that I, you know, still keep in touch with and from what I see on, you know, social media, a lot of people, like you said, are, you know, like trying to take that time to reinvent themselves or, you know, consider other avenues of what they can contribute into the wrestling business. Um, but like for myself, you know, so many people have known this guy. Like I've been wrestling for 13 years, as you know, Mike. Mm-hmm. And so 13 years of wrestling as this one thing, I've never really been too much of a bad guy. You know, there was glimpses here and there, but, you know, so not even saying that I'm going to be a bad guy, but we've only seen like, literally, we've seen an evolution of facade, but we've only seen, you know, the bomber and the neon ninja per se. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things like this for myself, things like this for other people, this is going to give like breathe new life into people's careers and give people a chance to heal up and give people a chance to like consider like, you know, really where they stand with everything. Cause I know it's been a different, uh, you know, I had, con- I had considered a lot of different things, you know, once this started, I, I was really bummed out like a lot of people, but then, you know, you come to terms with it, you get over it. And then you think of like how, now what do we do to adapt? What do we mm-hmm. do to change this and what's going to happen going forward? And so that's where I'm at too, because as you guys know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of influx of this youth movement. Mm -hmm. And so I'm one of these guys that like, Hey, uh, you know, we've been trained this way. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's try to stick to what we were trained to do. And, you know, but I'm also one of these guys, let's go out there and just go batshit crazy. Like these young kids, I'm like a fringe guy, you know, cause like, you know, people have these expectations or these ideal ideology i they have these ideas of veterans who are like you know uh, you know the sticklers but like i feel like the guys on the fringe like myself are in the most danger because we can hang and do all this crazy stuff with added you know i don't even would would say psychology but just you know an added layer of seasoning and you know if if we don't make a move now this is going to be a big thing where it, it, it make may make or break, you know, mm-hmm. guys like me that are like on the in-between. Yeah. And, and, and it is kind of a case that, you know, I, I think of wrestling, you know, that's kind of a finite thing. Like you, you, you only have so many kind of good years, top years to do it. Right. Um, right. you know, I mean, uh, Mike, Mike, we always have the argument on this show about, uh, uh wrestlers on f- over 40, maybe shouldn't be on WWE so often, you know, things like that, <laughs> you know, and I know, and I know several wrestlers are at, at different kind of stages of that. If you take out, let's say prospectively wrestling as a whole does not come back full force for a year, you know, uh, hypothetically, like that's a whole year taken out of that for a lot of you guys, you know, that could be on the peak of your prime or whatever that next level is. Uh, to get to to move forward, mega damaging, mega damaging, and not you know, and mind you too, there's a lot of things like okay, say I was a uh, in a going a WWE route, like mm-hmm. you know, I, I I have I keep all of my avenues open, um, but for instance, uh, the WWE is is something that I would highly consider as if the the place I would want to go, and you know, obviously AEW, all these places, you know. WWE had all these tryouts and stuff already scheduled yeah, and they had the slots already allotted and filled and everything. And then like, you know, if I got, you know, the call to, to have a tryout too, I have to now get in line and we're already eight months down the line. And it's just like, you know, not that age is a factor because age is definitely just a number. As long as you can still be healthy, you know, and, you know, have a, a, a good physical showing at a tryout or, you know, you have the, you know, right physical uh capabilities um but still it it unfortunately can be something that is looked down upon in you know certain circles yeah yeah absolutely absolutely uh (laughs) there is uh well well, first i want i want to point out if you guys want to vote for facade in the rwa interactive tournament he's, he's actually in bracket d bracket c is open for voting now so starting Friday, look on the RWA's um, Facebook page, and you can vote for Facade. And you are paired up with one Jordan Styles, I understand. Jordan Styles, okay. I already told you how this was going to end. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, I like you. But I'll tell you what, 
This is a serious competition, serious virtual competition. And when my thumb gets it moving, I got 64 ways of pinning you to the mat, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just so you know, just so you know. Mm -hmm. I also, I'll, hey, hey I'll, I, I got cause. I got cause. I got just cause. C-A-W cause. I'll post those cause on that channel, on that post, <laughs> so you can see. So you can see the Neon Ninja and all his, what is it? 128, 128 bits of glory on the 64, okay? Fantastic. We're going to have to include that over there. I'm not sure you're going to go from quarantining to quarantagging very soon, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> listen. Yeah. Listen. I, I, I've, I, been saving, I've been saving that one. I was going to say, that, that was like a thing a, you were all getting on. The sword goes to an ad I, break. <laughs> I, would, I, lo I love it. I love it. But it's like every time I really... I publicize something about uh, any kind of graffiti. I, I seem to get some sort of trouble. Like uh, I, I got in trouble a few years back, like for so, like someone saw me doing something that may or may not have been spray paint. And I got in trouble for that. And then there was an AEW logo that got spray painted. I don't know if I sprayed it, but I don't think AEW <laughs> liked it. At least they didn't tell me they liked it. I'd like it. I'd like it. I liked for them to tell me they liked it, but I hadn't, I hadn't heard anything. <laughs> hint, just hint, saying, nudge, just nudge. saying. It took six hours. Just start creating six hours. It's called the Neon Order. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the mm -hmm. Neon Order. It'll be great. Yeah. The neon, the neon bubbly. Um, speaking of other questionable uh, 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 decisions, um, IWA Mid South has announced shows from next month in India. For next month, oh. I thought it was late this month they were announced. Indiana, I believe. Indiana. You meant to say Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, what did I say? Did I say India again? India. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about it before the show. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> neon there we go. Order. Neon. Yeah, yeah. It does have the show announcement. Now some mom who listens to the show is going to think you're like uh, promoting the world order. Like a, like a conspiracy theory. <laughs> Great. It's another like red tape wow. Sorg has to go through. Yep. Yep. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah. So interesting news. I, 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 I still take anybody who puts any date out there um, between now and August suspect. Now yeah. Christmas, damn. In, what's that? Between now and Christmas, <laughs> it might be. Yeah, everything's well, up I, in the air now. Like, yeah. it, like every promoter that I've talked to has been uh, that mentions anything about it is like kind of shrugs. Is like fall, you know, if we're lucky, you know. So I mean, there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of factors. We literally do not know how things are uh, going to shake out. So on my end, there's like so there's uh ballpark shows baseball park shows yeah during the summer a lot of times yeah like uh big time wrestling n n northeast wrestling stuff like that right yeah. yeah so uh there was people talking about um i don't know you know where i heard it but people are saying you know if the baseball um if they don't lift something soon the maintenance crews can't get to the baseball stadiums even in time to get the fields ready for yeah. the baseball teams yeah so inherently, you know what I mean? That's just like a, I mean, that's a small thing, but th that's due to. Yeah, it's, it, th it throws off the time because mm -hmm. they're probably, they're not, they're probably not sending them to the field and having to pay for that. Right. Cause since they're not yeah. using it. So, you yep. know, like that kind of thing. So, I mean, Hey, you, you guys seen Heinz field, like the first game of the season, right out here, right? Like they're not even ready for that half the time. Like, yeah. it's, it's usually like a dirt pit out there from yeah. whatever's been going on over the summer or not maintaining or whatever. So all the uh, concerts. Yeah. 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 Damn Kenny Chesney. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> <laughs> um, but Hey, we'll see uh, either way. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Um, anyways. So, uh, you know what, you know, what is, is perfectly fine for you to participate in. I know one of our chatters was just ordering some up. While we Pizza. were on the awesome cast earlier tonight, our good friends at Slice on Broadway, SliceOnBroadway.com, still working on delivering that pizza all the way out there to the Seattle area for Tina. But Sorg, still, I actually have something for this. You do have something for this. Riz, what yes. do you have? Uh, two weeks ago, two Fridays ago, I during my work hour, pulled up the phone, pulled up uh, Grubhub, 
said, hey, I want a pizza. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry for pizza. As soon as I get there, it was waiting for me right there. There you go. There you go. I, I'm in Monroeville. I went to to Liberty in East Pittsburgh. Uh, East, East Pittsburgh? No, yeah, East Pittsburgh. In close to uh, East Liberty. That's what I meant to say. Uh, went there, picked up my pizza, drove it all the way back to Pittsburgh, to Monroeville area. Was it so still hot? It was still hot. Nice. Pepperoni was still spicy. That's right. Oof. That's right. The green and? peppers were just right. Mm. And the tomato sauce amount? And the tomato sauce amount? Perfect. Oh, yeah. Not That's too much. Good shit. Not too much. Not too little. Perfect. But yeah, that, that's all I got. It's for those Patreon pizza. or Gold members that, that uh, for missing the sauce part in the early, early bits of the show, may, we may have not even been on the air. Who the hell knows? I, I don't even remember at this point when we were talking about the sauce. So go check them out. Sauce SliceOnBroadway.com. Sauce. Thank you for supporting the show for a good long time here on the show. We got to be coming up on 10 years of working with them as well. So mm -hmm. that's a lot of pizza. I used to get I used to get slice on Broadway when I would hang out with Jimmy D. We just that's ordered right. them up every time. Right up in the neighborhood. That's right. Jimmy D. We never had to dock them like the Ninja Turtles. No, nope. they, they, they were, they were, nope. Nope. Pizza nope. Dude <laughs> so thank you for that. And uh, thank you slice on Broadway. And uh, thank you for, dropping some of the experience in there riz uh we will be back <laughs> you're gonna hear that kevin that kevin eastman um uh bit uh here after yeah. the quick break and we'll be back with the big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com Hi, this is Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show! Guys, happy. we are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, or the, 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 the Couples Mayhem Show, I suppose it is now. Animals are being displayed. We have everybody here. We'll skip the big question, uh, because we got so many people, and I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of fun here. So, so back with that. First of all, Danny Moe has joined us on the Yay! facade cam. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are Thank you? you. Nice close. <laughs> Extreme close up. And also Whoa! A couple number two, the Carlins have joined us, Jen and Matt, and and Gilbert. Yes, Gilbert the, the dog is here too. And couple number three. Riz. So 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 last week, I, I love this because last week we started this this I don't know new segment I guess where we just pry into the Carlin's relationship as as wrestling fan couple, um, and and I love that we were able to pair them with wrestling couple, <laughs> Sod and Danny yeah, Mo. They're, they're real. They're a real wrestling couple. What? What? what <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> they're you're, real. You're not, actually, you're, look, they're, you're not, Jen, a you're not fake actually going couple. in the ring with they're them. Just, <laughs> We're not, what, what, yeah, what we're you? not making you wrestle them. I mean, unless you want to. Unless you want to. I mean, it, it depends on how this segment goes, I guess. But I, uh, I mean, I, I can stand still and wait for Facade to fall on me. I don't know what's going to happen after that. But, <laughs> I mean, I can just, I can be there. You know, you're just like, you're just like, yo, teach me how to, how to, how to take something. <laughs> Ow. Hey, did brother! Want, all my times, I'm used to people not catching me, so just stand there, look like. Embrace for the hug. Oh, and I'm there you go. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, did you did you mention the facade? My recommendation, since your 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 library is so is so flush with clips of facade doing crazy things, that you should you should sort all your facade clips by altitude from which he started. Oh, <laughs> and that should be like a, a uh, good, really good idea. <laughs> I like that. I need to get in indiewrestling.us. dot us. I need to get on that and check out some of the. Uh, the goods there, the wares. Yeah. I'm sure there's some ancient things there that I've forgotten that my CTE Holy activated God, yes. oh, uh, yeah. won't allow me to do. Yeah, I think we got all the way back to the uh, teaming with Gargano days. Uh, Man, there, so. that's like my what's like one of my like my sixth match or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. I think, we, I think your first match is in there somewhere. I mean, it's, it's it, a lot of it's on YouTube right now. But yeah, I can still catch you front row in those shows. Long hair boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Where are we? We pulled up the Dino, the the six man match with Dino <coughs> and and sexual harassment and, and uh, Gory in them, and uh, and you just see us just going nuts in the second row. <laughs> and, Never uh, first rowers, always second rowers. Yeah, yeah. Young, oh yeah, young boy uh, Aiden Bale was first rowers. Yep. 
Yep. I know. Yeah. I know Corey had some pictures from uh, uh, just an idol jumping off of a, the budget truck uh, yeah. <laughs> that they were talking about the other day. So I, it, we, there, there's all of that. There's, I mean, looking, look in the front row of Ring of Honor, looking, mm-hmm. you can see a young Shirley Doe in the audience of, of, uh, of, of, of early Ring of Honor or uh, uh, ECW. You know, I mean, that, that, that goes all over the place, doesn't it? So you can, you can a see young that. Shirley Doe. Yes. I got to look for that too. Wow. I'm interested. <laughs> go, Which one came up? It was like, oh yeah, I'm in the background of that. I was like, oh, okay. I, I remember cool. him and Norm used to go over back uh, to the ECW shows all the time. They used to run with a crew of guys. Mm-hmm. So, so Matt, Jen, so what, what other, so what, what are we prying into this week with you two? <laughs> Where did we leave off last week? I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, Mike, you you you've delved into a lot of these stories on the on the former Total Divas podcast with Jen. Oh boy, I don't even know where to go. <laughs> since we since we were talking about this last night, what do you think about your son's uh your, your son's collection of action figures and the nonstop ten year old booking fiesta that's going on? Yes, in this room all the time. Yeah, he's just he's turning on turning on all sorts of crazy stuff. He is a national treasure. He, he uh, he's keeping me entertained <laughs> through the uh, through the corona. I'm more you know. I'm more entertained watching a ten year old booking than I am watching a national. Yeah, did, that's show. awesome. Did you know mm-hmm. that he uh, he sent Brock Lesnar, Keith Lee, and Braun Strowman on a cruise? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> they had a match, and he had nothing for them to compete for mm-hmm. in his in his in his ladder match. So. I, we were just kind of like, you know, brainstorming. You know, this is how all this is where all wrestling comes from, right? You know, you're just brainstorming in the back, and you're just like, I don't know. Let's just. Well, we don't have a title. We don't have a briefcase. I'm just. How about how about just like a vacation? Just put a vacation at the top of the ladder. Whoever gets it gets <laughs> the vacation. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, okay, and Brock Lesnar won, and uh, he has created a mini uh, meat packing plant stable. You know, kind of. Tough guy, you know, Keith Lee, Braun, and big boys. Brock, and they, they all the big boys oh, went the big on the boys. cruise ship together. <laughs> I think this, that thing, I don't know, that was a terrible term phrase. That, but, no, um, that was perfect. That was perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to tell you. We're, we're still working on a name for him. So, beef. Uh, yeah, beef. lots of beef. And uh, yeah, they disappeared on a cruise for, for a month. And <laughs> to then, the Bermuda uh, Triangle. Yeah, and then, and then Brock that. resurfaced uh, as a surprise to win a Royal Rumble, which happens every week. <laughs> That's awesome. See, if only Brock Lesnar hasn't Brock Lesnar won like most of most of uh, his battle royals, anyways. Has he? Like, uh, has he? No, I mean Brock. Um, I don't know. Like he built like this. Are we really going to talk about my son's booking? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> what else are we? What else are we going to talk about, Matt? Well, well yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> See, it all started. I can't even believe it. I, I have to witness this. All right. He he made this like uh, he created this super card. And uh, one of the matches was Braun Strowman versus Keith Lee. And it was one of those matches where they just like, they run at each other and they, oh, oh you know, nothing happens. They just run at each other again like and they hit each other and nothing happens. They head at each other and nothing happens. And they do this to like, for like 15 minutes. And then Mason's this like, sounds like real life. That's the, it's it's a like a Dragon Ball and so they decided since they couldn't beat each other up that they would become friends. And then Brock got yeah, brought in at some point and it's been like that ever since. Yeah, it's really this nice. This is better. This is better than heart. <laughs> He's got a heart. They, they, they do. See, my, my when when you're when hey, Matt, a Matt, child is born, you get childlike innocence. Matt, what in you your need to do is you need to use your Legos and you need to build him a crowd to watch Ma- Mason Mania. I oh. well, that's another thing. I I showed him that the Lego idea uh, website thing that you showed me of the. Yeah. Uh, the uh, WWE arena, and he was like, oh, "Are we going to do that?" <laughs> I'm like, well, let's, let's inventory the Lego and let's see what we got. I'm so, you, I'm, you can make Batman, Iron Man, and Wonder Woman watch all of his matches. It'll be great. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. But you, don't okay. you have to do the ring kind of to scale for the action figures at that point? No. Sorg, are are no. the are the Who's wrestling the fans to scale to the wrestlers? No, they're not. Wrestlers are larger than life, Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> little Lego men. It's like little the Roman Lego. Coliseum, but with little Lego men. Yeah. Spoiler alert: <laughs> if, if we stood next to Big Show, we would look like little Lego men. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Not wrong. Am I wrong? I mean, to be fair. I mean, granted, maybe Ricochet. Okay, that's a bit of a different story. But, uh-huh. you know, it's, uh-huh. it's fine. Yeah. Well, no, the wrestling figures are to scale anyway. That's true. That's true. Oh, to be geez. fair, I'm I'm used to it by now, so it's fine. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Everybody. So what else is on your mind, Stork? What else? Is going on? <laughs> um. Um. So. So. Well, I, I guess. I guess. Like you know, uh, Danny F- Facade. Would you like the? We had the Carlins share their kind of the, the first <laughs> discovery of being wrestling. Both wrestling fans, kind of story. Would, would wrestling you like compatible? Sh- yeah, but yeah. Th- when did you guys discover you guys were wrestling compatible? <laughs> I didn't like wrestling. I didn't know what it was really. <laughs> Him? Who's to say we're wrestling compatible c- currently? <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, she was just talking about um, her, the the story, her origin story, if you will, of how she. Um, let's say trans translated from, uh, you know, hanging out at the table and supporting me into hop in the barricade, hop in the barricade. And, you know, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, you, you might've been, um, were you doing VOW at the time? No, I, I never did VOW. No, I, I okay. did a couple of well, shows, me, but that was it. Okay. Let me, let me tell you this. So VOW was like, Hey, you should manage him. And I'm like, ah, no, let me just sit behind the table, sell the merch, make some money. I'm fine with that. <laughs> and then they like, we're pushing and pushing. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll manage him. And they're like, they only wanted me to do it there. And it was only going to be VOW. Mm-hmm. And I was like super nervous. So I took a shot before we did all this because I was not the person to be in front of a crowd that like was never me. And it was him versus Shane Strickland. Mm-hmm. Swerve. And I'm nice. pretty sure that was the match Michael threw nachos on him. No, it wasn't. No, it was a different match. <laughs> 20, <laughs> but, 20 minute time limit, brother. And I had one thing to do. <laughs> one thing. And I effed it up. You had one <laughs> job. <laughs> <laughs> Five more minutes chat. And I did it too early. What the f? How do you do that? Just time. I'm pretty sure the match is still going on. I don't even know. It was so I, was I don't fun. know what happened. I don't remember it being as bad as she remembers it, but <laughs> it came off good. She restarted the match, and then from that point forward, boom! Everybody's like, "Oh, you managed? Hey, can can you can you come on, come come?" And then everybody's like, "Hey, why don't you wrestle? How you do cool moves? Let's let's wrestle." And... <laughs> <laughs> you know when I learned the moves? You want to know when I learned the moves? When they told me what I was doing. And I was like, okay. First time she ever did something <laughs> in a match. This is a funny story, too. First time she ever did something in a match. Like we would mess around and I would teach her things, but she never did anything. Was my first match with AJ Styles. And, and uh, there was something that happened after the match. She's like, uh, what if they come out and uh, you, you get power bombed? Can you give him. Uh, Super Hurricane Rana out of the power bomb, or wait, no, that was the second match. Yeah, it was the <laughs> second match because uh, because then the Young Bucks come out, make the save, and all this stuff. She's never done anything like this, and and but you know we're yeah. it's it's me, AJ, and the Young Bucks in some like psycho high level thing, and it's like hey, just you know backflip and uh, shout out to Matt Connor that um, he's the one that was going to Super Bomber, and uh, he uh, he you know. He got super rounded like a champ, and then took, you know, super kick, super kick, super kick, and all the, you know, all the <laughs> the, the sweet moves from us good brothers. <laughs> no, you're in wrestling shoes yet. <laughs> no, I had Asics, or they were still Asics. They were Asic tennis shoes. Yeah, Asic tennis shoes. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. wow. And then you know it just escalated from there. We did like. uh what is it? The Lita Conranas and all those things. It just, mm-hmm. just kind of happened. And oh, it- wait, that match, I wasn't even in the whole match. I came to the guardrail because Gory came out and I was yelling at him and he dragged me in. Yeah, that was a thing too. Dragged her over the guardrail. I was still just the merch girl. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then so- that one time she turned on me and I'm like, hey, you're going to give me a Canadian Destroyer. And she's like, I don't think I can do that. I might pee on you. But she didn't pee on I me. Might pee on- 
Happy <laughs> Happy so wait, Danny, you you've never managed anybody else, right? Oh, I didn't do any of this stuff. I yeah. I rode so, dirt bikes and but like, even like since then, there. you've never managed anybody. Like it's only been facade, right? Uh no, one other. Gory, person. Gory, Gory. Oh, Gory. Eddie. Okay, and then um uh oh crap, Eddie Smith for six okay. months. Yeah, she because she turned on me. We went radio silent on Facebook and all social medias where she would post these things during my birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, what was supposed to be our anniversary, all these things. Eddie Smooth, she was with him, and it was some really crazy stuff. And she would get hate mail and all the social media oh. <laughs> and all this stuff. We really had them like hooked. It was, it was awesome. It really was. It took some you know internet dedication and stuff, but uh. You know, culminated with uh, our first ever singles match, and uh, her consequently beating the hell out of me with a Singapore cane. And then, uh, you know, other than that, it was only been uh, gory in some other occasion where she was a little, uh, I guess you could say, infected or something like that under some wow. kind of hypnosis. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens, dude? It's the <laughs> worst. <laughs> It happens more than it should, I tell you what. Fucking hypnosis, mind control, all that. <laughs> you think there'd be some kind of like additive you could put in your drink to prevent things like that. But you, just, you just hate to see it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. There's something I, that's I couldn't even There's count how many times. Like oh, Anti-vaccine or something, you know. I just can't, can't count the amount of times I've woken up and just said, oh. Fucking mind control again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yuri got me again. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Dick Togo. Yes. Dick Togo. <laughs> oh, man. We can't go Yuri a week without pretty... Dick Togo references now on this show. Or it gets Yuri if you got Nothing Command and Conquer heads. Anymore. Nothing matters anymore. It's, it's coronavirus. That's it. That's that's it. it. Corona's too I'm... easy, though, now. I, you know. I'm waiting for someone to bust out a Corona Corona. I'm yeah, waiting. For it. But it's oh, like, man. it's a socially distant one, so they do it on one turnbuckle and the other guy flips over from the other end. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I, I want to like, uh, so I, I was been reaching out to some people I haven't talked to in a while, but there's somebody that I wanted to call that would really like, my uncle particularly, I'm going to call him and I'm going to tell him like, hey, I got the Corona. And he'd be like, M Michael, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, you know, I just got a case of the Corona Extra. You should come over. It's in the fridge. <laughs> and I knew it. Like, I, 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 say, I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I haven't done it yet. But just stupid dad jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> corona, corona Extra, you know, have a little sip or two. It's Corona Light. There's Corona Light and Corona Extra. Yeah. Who's to say? Talk about something else. <laughs> well, well, Carlins, have you ever been uh, uh, mind wiped and turned on each other? <laughs> I mean, New we, Orleans. We, we go out and party just like anybody else. So, New Orleans I mean, is sure it's happened. <laughs> when did that? There, there were a couple St. Patrick's Days. Wait, there was only one St. Patrick's Day with you and Savannah. I don't know stop right there. Uh, <laughs> but the, yeah, some good times. We just like covered some of those old uh, pictures from St. Patrick's Day, yeah. Savannah, Georgia, 2005. That is where you have to do it in Savannah. They are wild. And um, you're guaranteed yeah. to feel young because all the old people come out and go boozing in Savannah. A lot That's of awesome. um, NYPD. Yeah, all the sailors come in. What well, wasn't sailors? Like, was sailors? It was police it was, officers. It was New York it cops. Just people in uniform. Why is there in NYPD Georgia? in Georgia? They come that's down for the uh, parade. Wait, yeah, because the because the St. Patrick's Day parade in Savannah <laughs> is the legit biggest St. Patrick's Day parade um, anywhere, or the second biggest. One second, I don't know. Second. Someone's pretending. Say, someone's a pretender to the throne. First is probably Boston. Yeah, well, like Boston one, Savannah two, and uh, okay. I'm very confused by this whole conversation. <laughs> I, I heard See? I heard New York and Georgia and I can't. Are you a it. cop? Yeah. You look. Well, it was probably <laughs> just a bunch of Southern guys in costumes. Yeah. I was yeah, too that, drunk that, to realize what that, I was doing. That's the federal Jed, offense. Jed, what did those cops have you do? They were not real cops. I just danced. 
Okay. Or okay. no. No, it's mostly Wait, like what? it was just like drive the by all the time. They'd be like, the they're Dance coming the this one down the ECW <laughs> arena. They're coming this way down the sidewalk. The girls are walking this way. Oh, look, hi, police officer. We you know. Like high five. Going, yeah. And then high I was fives. like, there was a lot of Perel used. After Perel? yeah. <laughs> oh. Hands Perel, in. Perel, Perel. The, Perel, the the shampoo from the late 1980s. Yes. Pro. <laughs> oh, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. I, I'm, Thank you. I'm, me I'm messing with you, Jen. Whatever. <laughs> and... Jeez. Oh man. That's well, sweet. guys, uh, thank you for thank you for coupling tonight. Uh, <laughs> so, so we have coupling? a new. We, what's that's a that? weird term, but okay. Uh, we got it. We have a new segment <laughs> we have here on the <laughs> Wrestling Mayhem Show. This is your homework assignment. And Professor Jacob Edwin, and we were talking about people show sure, facade. You've had some run-ins with with Jacob in recent yeah. months. Yes, yes, Jacob Edwin from RWA. He is uh, the other match I had that wasn't the one in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bald guy, Professor. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he'll, he'll sound. Anyway, familiar. yeah. So it's we, a great match. We we have a uh, yeah. It's over there on IndieWrestling <laughs> Network. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see that off camera but um but he is going to submit to us each week a homework assignment in his uh in edward's lessons um here is the first one of those here hello wrestling mayhem show and all of your listeners my name is professor jacob edwin and i thought in these wrestling light times you might be due for an assignment now, even when wrestling was happening every weekend, uh, you guys weren't too bright to begin with. So this is going to be something of a re-education. Next week's assignment to start us off is going to be something not too far back because I want it to be a little palatable. Some of you might be a little prone to wanting something newer and not used to the golden oldies. Uh, but speaking of gold, this match features Gold Dust, currently Dustin Rhodes, uh, and versus Randy Orton. This is September 9th, 2013's edition of Monday Night Raw. Gold Dust is actually fighting for the job of Cody Rhodes. If Gold Dust wins, Cody Rhodes gets hired back. Reflecting back now on that match, uh, in the long term, it wouldn't matter too much if Cody Rhodes was fired or not. Uh, as we see later on, Cody Rhodes gets released again, and I believe that time he even asked for it. And we would see him go on in the next few years to open up a little company called All Elite Wrestling. Perhaps you've heard of it. So, watch this match as two legacy wrestlers, Gold Dust carrying on the Rhodes name, and Randy Orton carrying on the Orton name, and showing these two legacies pitted against each other and why these two were both considered naturals when they started wrestling. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. There you go. Your first homework assignment, Randy Orton and Gold Dust. And, uh, is this going to be will... on the test? What's that? Is this going to be on the test? This is gonna be on the... No, this is, this is... Yeah, this is going to be on the test. Uh, 500 I need, I, need a, I need a pen and a paper. Yes. Uh, I, I, can't, I, I didn't know there was going to be a well, test. Riz, Riz, the test is until next week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. you still have to all watch right, the right. match. Right. It's on the WWE yeah, it's Network. Not quiz. It's a test. You have time. That's right. It's, it's on the WWE test. Network. Book? We will it, link that is in it the an show open notes. Book test with like... <laughs> yes, it's an open book. It's an open open your app, the WWE Network, and 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 we'll go from there. So uh, so the there you go. What's that? <laughs> we have the network. Still. You have the network. Even know. Everybody check it if you I have the network. Watched. I feel like everybody should still have the network. Uh, whether or not they pay for it, however, uh, yeah, there's there's enough there's enough uh, passwords to go around. Let's say right? there's, there's enough yeah, access. Sure. Yeah. There's enough access, uh, guys. All right, it's time to find out what did you. Speaking of learning, what did you guys learn from wrestling this week, or wrestling adjacent things, or life in general? Maybe. Who wants to go first? Chat room, you do. I learned maybe the first five minutes I saw MVP and I thought to myself, why is this dork on? And I turned it off and I watched 90 day fiance. Okay. Okay. So, so I learned nothing. Well, wait, what'd you learn from 90 day fiance? 
Is it not to, not to engage in social contracts less like less than half a year? <laughs> Don't pay money to talk to people. <laughs> what? Um, Wait, no, are you on OnlyFans um, again? Wait, have you been doing that before? Could I have gotten money for conversations we've had, Jen? Because I've <laughs> I've been I've been undercharging. <laughs> OnlyFans, OnlyFans text uh, text stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, uh, Matt, what'd you learn for wrestling this week? Oh jeez, um, man, I feel like I burned all my good material. I did have something that I learned. <laughs> um, oh my god, I can't remember anything now. Um, you know, I just learned that kind of what I keep learning week after week, and that is that wrestling without fans is a no go for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But I have very high hopes, probably unreasonably high hopes for that Money in the Bank match. Um, just because it will not be in front of an empty room, which mm. you know, I'll give it a shot. I'll definitely it, give it a shot. I, it, I'm hoping it, for something really special. So instead, we'll it'll happens. be in several empty rooms. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be it'll be in an empty building. Yeah, I, I I hope someone gets thrown into or through uh, Vince's giant T Rex skull. I hope that comes into play. That's my big yeah. hope on this. I thing. forgot that was. In I want to see. You know, I want to see the uh, big WWF. Uh, Tile mosaic come into play. <laughs> I I think um I think someone is going to get thrown into the Andre the Giant statue. Um, I think someone's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. Oh, they gotta go into that room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. that crazy room. And I think the boogeyman is gonna show up. One from uh, Beyond the Mat. I think the boogeyman is gonna show up. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. that's <laughs> good call. I mean. Like the first thing I thought was like the boogeyman was going to show up in this thing. Boogeyman's uh, going to be there. <laughs> uh, somebody dressed as the wall, just I, standing there. I learned that the Usos, <laughs> the, one, the Usos uh, can't catch a break, and two, uh, Matt, we talked about this last night a little bit. The Usos are more divisive as a as a topic as we thought. That's true. I definitely that is that actually that that's a better thing that I learned this week. I had no idea the Usos were this divisive. I thought we had all just kind of settled on you know. Good to very good tag team, you know, do the WWE house style very well. And that was the end of it. But apparently there are people who are just like, like hard line. These guys are no good. And you there got were, other people on the other side. Like, there like were, there, there's a line here, Sorg. There were significant people in the Pittsburgh wrestling legendary community that yeah. were responding to this post in our group. They no, got, I didn't even know that we're in this group. Take. Like, yeah, I, I don't <laughs> over know the Usos. Yeah, over the Usos. Yeah. over the Usos. Holy crap! <laughs> so look what this has done to us, Sorg. We're fighting over the Usos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Day one ish, guys. Day one ish. <laughs> <laughs> Riz, what'd you learn this week? I learned that somebody on the WWE writing staff did not like Hornswoggle. What? Why? <laughs> what? What? <clears throat> so, uh, David Girl with. Gerwitz. Brian Gerwitz. Gerwitz. Brian Gerwitz. Uh, he posted Gerwitz. a little blurb about a Hornswoggle McMahon storyline that didn't go through. Yeah. <clears throat> Have Vince say to Hornswoggle that we're going for a ride. As Vince stumps Hornswoggle into a pillowcase. Oh, <laughs> oh damn! Have a cam, have a camera standing on a bridge, and the audience sees Vince throw Hornswoggle out the window of his limousine over the bridge railing. That's a throw. That's a big throw. Hornswoggle plummets to his death. What? Fatality. Next bullet point. I know it. I know it's a bit morbid and highly unlikely to ever to be used, but I think it's something that a fed up Mister McMahon could resort to after trying for so long to get rid of him. <laughs> this damn son of mine. <laughs> to, to be I, fair, he did blow himself up in a limousine and then come back next week. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> um, and also remember, this is the company where somebody was able to pitch and then execute. A legitimate fighting competition that put several people injured just to make one wrestler look foolish. Come on, bro. Come, Come on, bro. bro. Come on, bro. Come on, Come bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bro. Facade, what have you learned in wrestling this week? Uh, all right. Two things off the top of my head. So I remembered some Japanese I forgot I even knew, thanks to Asuka, talking gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a, like, it's the way uh, Asuka's promos are a refresh session for you? Uh, dude, like, they're okay, so... <laughs> That's hey, hey, mm-hmm. hey, 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 hey. Uh, there's a couple other uh, Gumbare, Gumbare is fight. Uh, dude, dude, I just remember, I'm like, holy crap, I don't and like, I never really actually listened to her stuff, but since she was in ring with this, you know, whatever, it was like very emphasized and everything. I'm like, holy crap, I still, I still got it, mm. but <laughs> uh, <laughs> still got it. <laughs> uh, secondly, holy shit, holy shit, no, three things, hold on. I had a dream. Well, we're on the road. We're on the road. Dream. Danny. Danny hurt. Danny woke. I was muttering in my sleep about Bobby Lashley. And I don't know what I was. I was sleep talking about Bobby Lashley. <laughs> and she heard me. And I <laughs> it was having let and I like I think I was feeling bad for Bobby Lashley, like because he was, I don't know, <laughs> let's say misused or something. Yeah. But she woke up. She she like Said she said something and woke me up. I forgot about it. I ask questions to try to get like see what his dream is or what the hell he's trying to say, but never really works. <laughs> Bobby Lashley's infiltrating your dreams, <laughs> but no, I don't even know what I told her what I said, but I forgot. And like you know, I don't really have dreams that often, so it's mm-hmm. funny that like. You know, I'm sleep talking about Bobby Lashley and the push he's not getting. And, you know, <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> you're concerned that you didn't get the any third, money in the bank. <laughs> the third thing is, uh, I don't know if this is like what I learned. Well, okay, yeah, cinematic wrestling can be well executed still, even on a uh, uh, indie or uh, you know uh, just YouTube only level. Mm. For instance, uh, my homeboy Sammy G and Ricky Starks had one of the most incredible uh, cinematic, if you want to call it that, kind of wrestling matches. They just got released today. Um, it was against Broom and Mop, and uh, oh, there was fire involved. No. It was in a ring. Uh, oh, wow. Joe Dombrowski was the commentator. No. And I, I think I sold you already, right? Yeah, yeah. You had okay, me with Broom just and watch it. It's, it's 12 minutes. It's a, it's a match. It's an actual match, and it rules. It rules. So I'm I'm very very uh I want to go into the woods with you know uh, a ragtag group of friends and I want to fight warlocks wizards <laughs> witchcraft and I just want to you know do some parkour moves and maybe Neo Ninja will be out maybe I'll mutate you know who's to say what I'm I'm excited I want to do some, some stuff the weather is breaking and I got I got things that I gotta get out of my system. Awesome, um, Mike. I don't think you. Went I need to bump. I need to bump. <laughs> I, I I get worried, Sorg, and I'm sorry to butt in. I I get worried about what the pro wrestlers are going to do once they're released from this, and like they're going to get hurt. Pent up, like yeah, yeah, aggression, yeah. and yeah, yeah, like like you you got to have this to live, you know. <laughs> You gotta have this uh, this activity, and it's been taken away, and all mm-hmm. these guys are just gonna be released at once, and they're gonna. I just hope everyone's careful. But yeah, you know, the the <laughs> thing the thing that I and like I have like these mats at my uh, gym that I teach my kickboxing classes on, and I'll take like little bumps because mm-hmm. I know that like doing rolls, doing bumps right now, like I get like a little swimmy headed, mm-hmm. and I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm, not that I'm losing it, but I can tell. And it, like I waited a good month because the last event I did was uh, the IWC event in March, and then uh, that was the the last m- match that I had because the other one, you know, it was the next week, and that's when everything went down. Yeah. So I gave my body a month, and it was like really tricky to just like not do. I mean, I don't have access to a ring. Yeah. But I knew I could do this on on these mats, but like I was doing like little mini roll bumps and things like that, and doing rolls and stuff just to. Now I'm doing it to get my body more acclimated and, yeah. you know, hopefully callus up because that, the bump callus, as you want to call it, and the running the ropes callus, those are things that like you accumulate over a long period of time in your training. Yeah. So if people aren't like low key in their ring right now and getting the reps in and still maintaining, man, 
it's going to be uh, it's going to be a shit show when everybody comes back and doing all kinds of wild stuff yeah. myself included i gotta have to watch myself just you know uh but you know it's going to be it's going to be wild if people were just going to go full bore and just you know you know bust their ass and break their backs at the same damn time all that healing just goes away <laughs> yeah uh, mike did you go yet no um i i don't i fuck i don't know what i fucking <laughs> I, Bloody I, Mary. I, wow, this is getting like I can't top anything that was previously stated. Um, I did learn that um Jay and Silent Bob have had a match in AEW. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? yeah. What? what? Yeah, yeah. Sorg, did you not watch your AEW this week? No, I didn't. I, I Sorg, didn't skip it last you. week. Sorg, Jay and Silent Bob were in a match with Vicky Guerrero. <laughs> yeah. What? And and um oh fuck who else was in it um Virgil fuck. was in it Virgil no no Virgil was not in it oh he Soul was in the other thing Soul, Soul Trey Jones oh was in it. Soul Trey Jones was in it oh, uh so yeah, yeah. Manitoba how is this melee? not like got on my radar melee. since <laughs> Sorg it was the Manitoba melee oh jeez oh jeez yep and oh no spoiler alert Vicky Guerrero won the Manitoba melee. Ah. Damn, bro. Damn. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Hey, you know what? No, I, can't, I can't watch it. It's so well for not watching. Oh, no. My Wednesdays just got booked, and I can't watch wrestling on Wednesdays now. So <laughs> You've got all the streams and all the yeah. wares. Yeah. Yeah. You have got the wares with a Z, brother. Come on. Sword, TNT. You can watch it for free. Well, free-ish. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, I it's know. free. It's on there. I hate commercials. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I got the cheat codes, brother. I mean, you gotta watch it. Up, up, down, uh, down, from, left, right, left, right, B8. From the chat, Tina says, endless mimosas and Mother's Day uh, brunch is going to go with money in the bank this week. Oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, hug, hug, Happy virtually, Mama's Happy virtually, Mother's Day, Mom. Virtually hug your, your mamas from the Mayhem show. Uh, you probably should have done pissed moms in wrestling. <laughs> I missed missed opportunities. Maybe maybe we'll do that for the uh, indie indie mayhem show on uh, Thursday. Missed opportunities or missed connections? That, uh, uh, call, Jimmy, call, call, call Jimmy. Call Jimmy. Call Jimmy for that one. Oh no! <laughs> no, I don't want to hear. No, about I don't. Listen, man. Last time we had Jimmy here, it was two hours of a lot of a lot. A lot. <laughs> that Christmas oh, episode oh, was. I I can only imagine, but I I I. I wish that I could, but I do long for the days of uh, myself and Jimmy and Shima coming in uh, with the Batista entrance. Baby Batista. <laughs> and Baby Batista. Batista in surprise flexor appearances, all all, oh, all the like, you know. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I long for those days. Time, the basement the days, as we would like to call them, eh? Yeah. The, the next time there's a 2K game and Walking Wild is in it, I'm giving him the Batista entrance. Yeah. 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 That just has to happen. You don't. You don't. You don't need this. You don't nope. need this. You need. <laughs> <laughs> and you know not what? Machine, not machine guns. Pick just Uzi. to be fair. <laughs> just to be fair, I will give Batista the Walking Wild entrance. I like. I like the cut of your gym, my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna tell me said that. Should, should DJ Excellent. Should DJ Z and and uh, uh, Xavier Woods be a uh, the Batista? Theme tag team, the Batista boys, the Batista oh, boys. Oh man, the but the, the animal Managed boys. by Dana Lynn Brook. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Too soon. Yes, I yeah. think I think it's okay to talk about that, right? Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? that was all. They're not Twitter, open, right? It's not very. It's not very open anymore. But you know, I think it's still a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. facade. Thank you so much for joining us. Arigato gozaimasu, Neon Ninja. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Where can people support you uh, in these days, merch wise? Any other way? Anything going on with you? Yo, I just launched the uh, onefacade.com website. Um, right now, you can only get merch on there. It's a little thing, but uh, you know, uh, any web designers, you know, uh, give me a holler. I can use some help. But uh, you can yeah. find me out at Twitter, uh, Instagram, and YouTube at One Facade. I just cracked into these big big uh terabyte three terabyte clouds of all this uh footage that i have from singapore and india nice. and all these random places i'm gonna try to make some vlogs in this downtime so hopefully nice. Nice. you know i'm gonna i'm gonna i think i'm hoping to make a villa a villa documentary too 
So, uh, yep, one facade, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, also, same on the uh, Pro Wrestling Tees. Awesome. And also, we do have a code program on IndieWrestling.us that you're a part of as well. Yes, and, yes. Uh, please uh, sign up using the code. I don't remember. Off the I got it right that. here. Uh, 6512 Facade. That gives you 10% off. Uh, just about just about anything with facade in it over at India Wrestling US VODs DVDs and the network ten uh, percent off across the board. So uh, and and that gets that kicks a bit uh, back to facade as well. So if you want to support him by also supporting India Wrestling US, we appreciate it. So we you buy go. Bill of snacks. We buy <laughs> Bill of snacks. There you go. Help him out. So many many ways for you guys can do it, and and support wrestlers. Get some good stuff out of it. Thank thank you Facade for being on. Thank you guys. You guys are always awesome to me. Always looking out. And uh, I'll see you. When so, I see you sooner or later. Sooner or later. Uh, thank you, Mainstream Matt and and Mrs. Oh. Mainstream Matt. <laughs> What is he doing? He's just disappearing in the background. He's, He's a, a ninja. ninja. Sure. What do you expect? He is a ninja. <laughs> ninja smoke. <laughs> Gone. The car is this. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter. T-U-B-I dot TV. Look for Lucha Underground. Get some goddamn Dario Cueto in your life. That's right. And Riz plays games on the Twitch. On the Twitch, Twitter, Facebooks. I have uh, subscribe to my channel if you want. Follow me. Get that cool little um, hit that cool little bell. I don't know why you're getting it, sword, but what? thank you. Uh, notice where know where I'm at all the time. Just whenever I hit, whenever I hit, when I whatever I feel like going on, you will get a notification that I'm playing video games. There you go. There you go. There mm-hmm. you go. And thank you, everybody's been in the chat room. Everybody hanging out with us. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out.